Denmark Vesey was a quintessential Charleston man because he represented the majority of the population here, which was a black population and an enslaved population. And he, through his actions, in an effort to organize a conspiracy, spoke to the aspirations of African people in this city, in this state, and indeed throughout the South in the early 19th century. He was a member of what was then known as the African Church in Charleston. And the African Church in Charleston was an independent African-American denomination in the city affiliated with the AME Church or the African Methodist Episcopal Church that had been founded in Philadelphia in 1816. This is a this is a significant development and a significant point uh, in history because the black Charlestonians who created this church and affiliated with the Amy Church in Philadelphia were essentially affiliating with an abolitionist church and they were attempting to run their own affairs in the midst of a slaveholding society. Well, as you might imagine, that African church, its leaders, and Vesey was one of its leaders, and the members came in for persecution. The leaders were arrested. The church was temporarily closed down on more than one occasion. And, and we think that it was probably the persecution of this church, as well as Denmark Vesey's personal dissatisfaction with his inability to enjoy all of the full fruits of, of freedom in a slaveholding society as a free black, and then his inability to obtain freedom for his, for his children. He was not able to purchase their freedom. And it may have been the convergence of all of those factors that then led him to begin to organize a conspiracy of, of slaves in 1822. And let me tell you about the plan. The plan was to organize slaves in the city of Charleston and for them to arm themselves set fire strategically to a number of locations around the city, and then to call in slaves from the surrounding area to occupy the city. Now, as it turns out, word would leak out, and uh, there were some informants, slaves themselves, who informed on the conspiracy. And Denmark and others were arrested. They would be tried, and of course, a trial on on these kinds of accusations virtually always led to a conviction and execution. And so indeed, in the summer of 1822, Denmark Vesey, along with 34 others, were executed by hanging on the outskirts of the city, and 37 other people convicted of participating in the conspiracy in one way or other. Now today, we're standing right in front of Emanuel AME Church in downtown Charleston on Calhoun Street. And this church is symbolically and substantially important because of the connection to Denmark Vesey. The builder, the original builder for this church in 1865 was Denmark Vesey's son. And the members of the original African church that remained in Charleston really comprised the nucleus for this congregation and for this place of worship when the African church or the AME church was in effect reorganized and reestablished in the city of Charleston in 1865.